Before we get started with today's vlog, today is a very special day over in Scotland. My good friend Waddy's 50th birthday is today. So I hope you have a great day, man. I hope you enjoy whatever it is you're doing to celebrate. I hope it's a good one and I hope that everything's going well over there across the pond. Can't wait to be able to come and visit over there again once they let us. <laughs> Happy birthday, man. Corona transport. I'm parked beside the Corona. Corona transport, that's how it gets around. It's got a reefer and everything, you see? Now you know. I'm here in Sudbury, Ontario. It's time to go to North Bay, Ontario. It's about an hour and a half from here. Then we go to Ottawa and we wait till the morning. We have a really good night's sleep because we're gonna have all afternoon and evening. My appointment isn't until tomorrow at 9 a.m. and I'm gonna be there today at probably like three, two or three in the afternoon. So it should be fun. You better get out there. This freight ain't gonna deliver itself. I've already had a banana. It was delicious. I'm ready to go. Got my coffee right here. Got like the world's friendliest groundhog at this Petropass truck stop. I literally walked right up to this groundhog. Hey, whoa, buddy. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Really? You waiting? You just booked it, too. You wait until I start moving. That little groundhog. He's the friendliest groundhog I've ever I walked right up to him. I could almost pet him. And he wouldn't even like bolt away. He would just sort of like slink away a few feet that I couldn't quite touch him. He didn't want me to, I didn't really want to touch him either. I didn't know if he's going to bite me, but who knows what he's got. But still, he let me get pretty close to him. Usually uh, wildlife is not that tame. For his benefit, I wish he was a little bit more scared of me, but what can you do? 500 was... meters, turn right on, cross on culver and then turn right into 110 meters. Karen, you are nuts. First thing in the morning, you're already trying to mess with me. No, we're going to go left. We're going to go straight left right here. She wanted me to go straight down the residential road there, do a U-turn, come back, so I can go this way. What's wrong with you? It's not very nice. In 500 meters, take the entrance to the ride on Highway 17 East RTE 17 East North Bay. In 400 meters, take the entrance to the ride on Highway 17 East RTE 17 East North Bay. All right, I see what kind of day it's gonna be. got about an hour and a half to go. The sun's come out at least, which has made the day a lot better. I found a Tim Hortons that I could stop at. That made the day a lot better. And I found some parking right close to where I have to deliver in Ottawa on Google Maps and using the Trucker Path app. I keep having comments in my uh, comment section that say, Trucker Josh, you should use the Trucker Path app. I, I talk about it almost every day, don't I? I do use it. It's a great app. I'd recommend it. it. Tells you where all the truck parking is, where the scales are. You can help let other drivers know if there's spots available or if the scale's open. So according to that, there's nine parking spots available at this tiny little card lock that we're gonna go to in uh, Southeast Ottawa. Globechester, I think it is. Is that the suburb? Is that what it's called? 
If not there, I can go to the Petro Pass in the same area up the street where I used to park all the time when I was on vans years ago. Good old memories going back to my old stomping grounds. And we're gonna be there like 3.30, 4 o'clock. And I don't gotta deliver till 9 a.m. tomorrow. The nation's capital. In three kilometers, keep to the left on Highway 174 East RTE 174 East St. Laurent Boulevard. Wow, well, you could just say in three kilometers, keep going, get out! No one wants to be in Ottawa. Okay, speed limit's going down here again to 80, okay. <laughs> Some cop in his cruiser freaked me out before. Came onto the highway, and he came on rushing, like right as if he was gonna pull me over, you know how they come like from the side as if they must have caught you doing something wrong and they're about to pull you over and he pulls in right behind me as I as I go past him and he stays right on my bumper for like five minutes. So close I couldn't even see him. I think he's gone now, I don't know. If he isn't, he's really close. I think he's gone. Yeah, and then he just stayed back there for like five, I thought he was gonna pull me over for something. I was like, what did I do? I'm wearing my seatbelt, I'm doing the speed limit. Wasn't holding my phone. Got two hands on the wheel. What did I do? Why is he following me? Thought for sure I was gonna see his cherries flick on and then have him wanna talk to me about something. But now he's gone now. Now he's not behind me. Just freaked me out. <laughs> so I looked down at my speedometer right away because I was in a construction zone like this, right? Keep to the left on Highway 174 East RTE 174 East St. Laurent Boulevard. And I looked down, I said, I was doing the speed limit. But that happens. So we're we're just going to the uh we're going through Ottawa on the way east right now. We're gonna go to the southeast side of the city, like I was telling you before. At 600 meters, keep to the left on Highway 174 East RTE 174 East St. Laurent Boulevard. You really like to talk a lot. You could just say keep left, or just go straight. Yeah, this is a beautiful city. I'm hard on Ottawa, I rag on it all the time, but it is a beautiful city. This is where uh, all the power is concentrated across the country, and uh, it's a nice place to come visit. I mean, if you come visit Canada and you're from overseas, or you're from the US, or wherever you're from, Ottawa is a must-see. I mean, that's it's as Canada as it can get. This is the heart of Canada, it's the United nation's capital. Don't go to Toronto, that's not Canada. Come to Ottawa, this is, this is where all the, all the things are made. <laughs> Maybe a little hint if you come to Canada. No one likes Toronto. In one kilometer, keep to the left on Highway 174 East RTE 174 East and then keep to the right in 1.3 kilometers. Alrighty. All these people are speeding. Why isn't that cop chasing any of these people? Why was he tailgating me? It's like he knew who I was or something. I don't know, I shook him off, he's gone. In 500 meters, keep to the okay, left on Karen. Highway 174 East RTE 174 East and then keep to the right in 1.3 kilometers. Something about how Ontario makes their freeways makes our GPS talk non-stop going through any Ontario city. It's like, just go straight, just, just don't turn. Eh, ding all you want at me, Karen. Watch your language. I have to deliver in the morning into that building right over there. So I'm literally right across the street here. I didn't even know this place existed. There's only nine parking spots here, but there's still two or three open yet. Plus I guess like guys are parking over there because they want to be alone and left alone I guess. Another one could probably park over here. So you could probably fit about 12 trucks in this lot if you Arranged it right, made it correctly. Didn't mess around. This is a pipeline commercial. This is a, a truck stop that's only in like Ontario and Quebec, I believe. None of these out west. So I don't know who owns this or if it's its own thing or if Shell or something owns it, who knows. But all I know is I'm sitting right here for the next, uh, what's the time now? Seven o'clock? It's about seven o'clock, and I gotta deliver at 9 a.m. tomorrow, so the next 14 hours I'm gonna be sitting right here. Waiting to empty my load. And then I have a new load. I'm going to North Carolina. 
The load gods sent me a message. They've been good to me. They like me. Oh, I have two. I have two load assignments here. What's this? Okay, it's going to. I'm pick, gotta pick it up in Ontario, and it's going to High Point, North Carolina. What's the other one? Oh, that one was from last week. Oh, okay, that was the one I picked up in Iowa. Yeah, I gotta pick this up in Nefton, N-E-P-H-T-O-N, -E Ontario. Nefton, Ontario. And it goes to High Point, North Carolina. And then from there, I'm requesting that I go uh, back home. Five hours and 24 minutes and Quiet, I'm not going anywhere. That's my day. It was a very short day. Not much to show you today. You wanna see some grass? There's some grass. I hope to see you here tomorrow. Uh, we'll probably, I don't know, from the, from here the U.S. is quite a, quite a ways. We'll probably get into the U.S. tomorrow. I'd assume so. I can drive a full day tomorrow yet. How many hours I got left on my 70? I got 44 hours left on my 70. I should be able to get down there and back home. Fingers crossed. Let's hope. So I'll talk to you tomorrow then, guys. Right here, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. Follow my life around on the boring days and the exciting days.